Okay, so it's raining outside, so I thought I would sit down and show you my current perfume collection. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I just haven't done it. Um, so I thought I would sit down today and talk you through some of my favourite perfumes that I have at the moment and tell you about the notes and everything like that. So yeah let me get on with doing that so this is my perfume tray um here which is right here um this is my new tray for the coffee table as well um but yeah i thought i would bring it in here and sort of talk you through them because it's like a bit easier to see them here so yeah let me get on with it so where should i start um Okay, I'll start with this one, which is one of my more recent favourites, which is by Byredo, which looks like this. Yes, I like these bottles quite a lot, actually. So, yeah, that's what the bottle looks like. I think these bottles are really pretty. Um, when I first smelt this fragrance, I was like, mm, no, I don't know, it's just a basic, like, vanilla scent. But then I like wore it, I got like a sample of it and I wore it for like a day or two and I was like, oh my God, I really like this fragrance. Um, so yeah, it's called Vanilla Antique by Byredo. It's just, uh, it's, it's one of their stronger fragrances. It's an extract de parfum, which I guess is like stronger than an eau de parfum. Um, so yeah, it does last longer than a lot of the other Byredo fragrances, which I don't find last very long on me. Um, but this one is like strong, it's like quite vanilla and plum kind of smell with like a booziness to it. I don't actually know what the notes are. I'm not gonna tell you like the official notes. I haven't got them to hand or anything like that. I'm just kind of gonna go based on what I can pick out of the fragrance. So, yeah, this one I feel like is good for like day, night. I prefer like more gourmand like fragrances that are foodie and more suited towards winter. So I would say this is probably more of a winter scent. But I also wear winter scents in the summer because, you know, yeah. But I really, really like this one a lot. So yeah, that one's one of my favourites recently. Um, don't know what else to say about it, but just smells really like decadent, I feel like. And it's not just a plain vanilla. You have to really wear it on the skin to understand like what, what is so good about this fragrance. Because I feel like if you just smell it on a strip, it doesn't really do it justice. Um, yeah, it's just really comfy and like sweet and decadent feeling. I feel like this was a fragrance that made me feel like, oh yeah, bougie kind of like vibes, you know? Uh, so yes, another Byredo, which I have, which I've had for a couple of years, and this is um, Sundazed. Is it going to focus? Yeah. So this is very different than Vanilla Antique. Um, it's very fresh. This is a very unusual fragrance for me because I don't really go for fresh fragrances or s citrusy fragrances. This is like a lemon sort of smell with a cotton candy note in it, which is really why I went for it because it's like the gourmand likeness of it. But sometimes I really like a very like fresh, zesty smell in the summer. Um, so this is really like a summer scent for me. I don't really, I wouldn't really like go for this one in the winter. But then it is quite sickly and sweet as well for the summer. So it's kind of difficult to place. Um, some people I think would say this kind of smells like a, a cleaner or something. But I don't think so. Like I, I, I like it, but it isn't, it isn't a like fragrance that I would normally reach for. Um, it is a little bit out of my normal sort of fragrance area in terms of notes. But yeah, it's quite sweet and citrusy and lemony and stuff. So yeah, um, let's move to the back now. So I've got a couple from Dior. Uh, I've got three actually, so not a couple. But um, yeah, this is the Tobacco Love. 
This is in a similar kind of vein to Vanille Antique, I would say. I didn't spray, uh, let me just spray. I did spray it, didn't I? No, I didn't spray Sundays. So let's have a little spray, and I mustn't forget to spray them. Yeah, I know what they smell like, so I can, this one I specifically know what it smells like because it's so different than like anything else I have. Um, so yeah, it's just very lemony and that's about it really. Um, so Tabacola is from Dior. I don't know what they call these anymore, these exclusive ones that they don't sell everywhere. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they're called, Privé or, I don't know, I have no idea what they're called anymore. Because they changed the name of them a few times. So yeah, this is um, like a, a sort of like hookah, sort of tobacco smell um, with some fruity notes, almost like a sort of chocolatiness to it. It's, it's really nice, it's really deep and sort of um, decadent as well. This is another sort of like bougie. It's very, very strong, this one. Um, so yeah, definitely not maybe the best for like a super hot day. But yeah, it's got the smokiness. I've gotten way more into like smoky fragrances in recent years. I used to be like really all about the sweet gourmand fragrances, but now I'm like more into like a gourmand with like a smoky sort of depth to it, you know? Um, and this is definitely that. So definitely try this one out, see what you think of it. I really like it. It's very, very strong though, that one. One of the stronger ones that I have. And then similar to um, Tabacala is Vanilla Diorama, which is a newer release than Tabacala looks like this. Um, it's very similar to Tabacala, which, uh, or Tobacala, I don't know what the, what the actual name is, but yeah. Um, I call it Tabacala. Um, it's very similar, this Vanilla Diorama is very similar to, to Tabacala, but um, it's different. Uh, it's more vanilla, Definitely like more focus on the vanilla. It's much like lighter and not as deep. It obviously doesn't have the tobacco, but I feel like if you want a lighter version of tobacco, this is good, um, but it is different again. It's got that kind of like vanilla bean type smell um, as well. Yeah, I like this one. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say like, although this is vanilla, again, it's not like a traditional vanilla or anything. It's definitely got more to it and I like it quite a bit, but I do think like this one is like lacking in something a little bit. Um, it's very nice, but I feel like, I do feel like this could have like more to it, but yeah. Okay, the final one of the Christian Dior, like Privé ones or whatever they're called, uh, that I have is this one, which is in this bigger bottle because I got it like right before it was being discontinued. Um, and this is Feed Delicious. And I wanted this one for years. Um, and then like I heard it was being discontinued in the UK. I think it might have been discontinued in the US now as well. I think they had it for a little bit longer than the UK did. Um, but yeah, it's called, uh, it basically means delicious bean. And it's like a tonka bean uh, scent. And I do like tonka, like vanilla and sort of smells like that. Um, yeah, this has got like chocolate in it as well. And it's sort of got like a sort of cherryness to it. Um, and sort of like this like, powdery sort of lipstick note to it um some like i really wanted this fragrance forever and then like i got it and then i'm like kind of like i don't know if i like like it all the time it's very like sickly and sweet and something smells a little bit like play-doh-ish about it um which sometimes does put me off quite a lot um, but then sometimes in the, I'm in the mood for it, so it really just depends. I'm glad I have it, 
um, because I did really want this one for ages, but like, yeah, I'm not super into it. It has also got like a little bit of like an anise smell to it as well, which I quite like because I'm like quite into like licorice scents as well. That's another sort of like gum on note that I quite like. Um, so yeah. It's discontinued now anyway, so it's harder to get, but uh, yes. Anyway, so a more basic fragrance that probably most of you will be familiar with. Um, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I've had this one for ages. I'm really actually not a fan of Chanel fragrances. I'm really not a fan of them. Um, they're just... I don't like them, to be honest. I don't like... Yeah, there's very few that I like. This is really, this is really the only one that I actually even vaguely like, and I, it's not like one of my favourite fragrances. I feel like this is a sort of like everyday go-to kind of throw-on kind of fragrance, but it's nothing special to me. Um, yeah, it's much more like perfumey, and uh, I think I don't really know what the notes are. I should have like brought my phone so I could have like checked the notes, but. Um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this one anyway, so I don't really need to go into much detail about it. Uh, it has some sweetness to it, but it's not my favourite, and as I said, like, most Chanel fragrances I'm not really into. Um, there, it's quite, like, more soapy and clean than I like. Like, I don't like soapy florally smells really and it is a bit more like that than some others but it does also have the sweetness and um some more freshness to it like i think it's got like orange blossom in it or something um yeah i think it might have patchouli in it as well but i'm not a huge fan of it um i mean i am i like it i wear it but i just don't it doesn't it's not exciting to me i feel like it's you know one of those fragrances that you have smelled a lot, you know, already on lots of people. So this one is uh, By the Fireplace by um, Maison Margiela. So yeah, this one um, is sort of like a smoky, woody smell. Um, yeah, it's like, it's also got like a musky sort of vanilla-y sort of marshmallow type smell um to it and like a musky wood smell um this one i don't really wear this one out to be honest this is kind of like my at home fragrance which i know sounds weird but like this is a super like comfy sort of like you know you're just like cuddling up on the sofa type thing it's sort of like very cozy and comfy and you just want to like put on your like sweatpants you know a hoodie and some sweatpants and just like sit on the sofa you know um i really like that for that it just makes me feel very homey and cozy it's kind of got this kind of um burning fire smell to it which I really like. So yeah, that's kind of like an at-home fragrance by The Fireplace by Margiela. Um, replica fragrances. Um, so yes, that's another one I really like. Um, so I guess this is somewhat similar, but I do wear this one out. Um, this one is by Diptyque. Um, Odewell is what it's called. And this is like... It's, a, it's got vanilla in it again. Um, I know vanilla is like boring, but yeah. Um, this, this has also got like some more spicy sort of notes to it. It kind of, to me, reminds me of like gingerbread or some kind of like sugar cookie or something. Um, but it's also got like a muskiness to it, some depth to it. This is a great like, this is, and I feel like I don't, I used to reach for this one a lot for like every day and then, but I feel like this is a great everyday scent, the Eau de Well, and you can kind of use it all year round as well, but maybe this one is more suited to like summer, the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. So this is Eau de Well, and yeah, this is a great everyday go-to. It's not too strong. It's, it's sweet, it's musky, 
yeah, this is a really good like everyday scent, I think. Um, but it's again, it's sweet, so I like it for that. So that's uh, Ode Well. And then another sweet one. Uh, this is um, from By Killian. There we go. You can see it a bit better now. Yeah, it's just reflecting on the camera a bit. So yeah, this is um, Love by Killian, or Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, um, or by, by Killian. So yes, this is the old style bottle. It comes in a newer bottle now, but these bottles are like refillable. So you can like fill it up once you're finished with it. So I'll just have this bottle now for ever. But I actually kind of prefer this bottle because the other bottle is like more like pink and a bit more girly, whereas this is a little bit less girly looking. So yeah, I think it has gold on the new bottles as well. Um, but yeah, so this is like, um, oh God, look at that. You can't see it, but like, it's like pink. It's a very like dark color. You can't really see the liquid, but the liquid is like really dark. And this is super strong. Um, I think this is quite popular now. Um, but when I got it, it wasn't as popular. Um, but it's like marshmallow. It's just like marshmallow, basically. It's like this super sweet, sticky, sickly marshmallow smell. Um, but I love it because, yeah, but this is kind of when I was more into like very sickly sweet smells and I'm not as into it now because of the sweet nature of it and I find it so heavy and so strong that it's overpowering. But I do like wearing it, but I just don't wear it as frequently um, because it is so strong and I also feel like you just need such a small amount of it so it really takes me a long time to get through it. Um, but it is good. But I think this, it was stronger when they had it before, when it wasn't bought by Estee Lauder. Now it's been taken over by Estee Lauder. I don't think the new version, or I think they've reformulated it and it's not strong. But I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you think that's true. Um, if you've had the old version and the new version. I don't even know if there is an old or new version. I think it's, you know, they've kept it the same, but I'm... I'm pretty sure it's not as strong anymore as it was um, before it was purchased by Estee Lauder. But yeah, it's still a great smell and I don't think the scent has changed, but maybe like the strength of it has changed a little bit. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, okay, we're going down to the final two now. So I think I've spoken about this one before, which is um, from Hermes. Um, you know I'm a big fan of Hermes, so this is the only Hermes fragrance that I have. Um, and this is one part of their Hermescence collection, which I, they only sell in like their boutiques, I think. Um, and this fragrance is Amber Nogile. And this to me smells like um cinnamon buns basically like it's really sweet and but it's also got some muskiness to it i believe it's also got a similar kind of hookah like smoky smell to it similar to the which one was it um oh the tobacco so yeah it has although it's not really similar to tobacco like tobacco has definitely got more of a like a tobacco smell Whereas this has more of like a shish, shisha smell to it. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I really like this one. Um, it's got a nice amount of musky and sweet at the same time. And like amber. So yeah, I like this. It's sort of got a caramelliness to it as well. But as soon as I smell, I got a sample of this when I bought something years ago. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, I have to buy that fragrance, like, I love it, like, it's so nice. But yeah, I haven't worn that one as much. I was wearing it a lot, and I feel like sometimes you can overdo it with fragrances and they become too familiar, so then you have to kind of like, leave them for a bit, you know, and then go back to them later on. Um, so my most recent fragrance that I bought is from Louis Vuitton which I was really like against these 
Louis Vuitton fragrances for ages. I didn't like, like any of them. Um, and then again, recently, I bought something from Louis Vuitton and they gave me a sample of this fragrance. And I was like, I love it. Ombre Nomad is the name of it. And I like the bottle. It's quite cool with the gold writing. And then it has like Louis Vuitton or the LV logo on the top. You see that? So yeah. You might be able to hear the rain outside because it is raining. Um, so yeah, I got a sample of this. Um, when I bought something recently and it's like um, an oud fragrance which is very different for me I don't have any oud fragrances well this this one I have now but I didn't have any before that I suppose like maybe tobacco is not maybe like the most similar to like an oud scent even though it's like tobacco um, but yeah, when I, when I smelt this, I was like, oh my God, I really like it. And I kind of really wanted a fragrance that was very sort of like decadent and rich smelling. And I feel like this is definitely that. Like I kind of felt like that a little bit with um, Vanille Antique, which I also got somewhat recently. I kind of felt like it had a little bit of that uh, sort of rich decadent feeling when you wear it um, but ombre nomad oh my god it just smells like you just feel amazing and it's so strong this is like the strongest fragrance I've ever had it lasts ages like it lasts the whole day you could smell it on yourself like the next day it's so strong and yeah, it's got the woody note to it of obviously the oud. Um, but then it also I think has like raspberry and like rose. Um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's really an incredible fragrance. So out of all of the Louis Vuitton ones, like I would recommend this one. Like I have tried some of the others, but I never really felt like anything about any of the other fragrances. But I think this one is very popular. Um, well, not very popular, but I think it's kind of like people like it out of the Louis Vuitton fragrances. Um, yeah, I really love it. It's so strong and so decadent, and you just like if you feel amazing when you're wearing it, like, yeah. So yeah, that one is Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton. I really like it. Um, yeah, this is my first Oud fragrance and I think it's amazing, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get any more Ouds because I feel like one is enough for me. But I'm a fan, you know? So yeah, that's my fragrance collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any fragrance recommendations that you might have for me in the comments because you can obviously see the kind of fragrances that I like. And it'd be really interesting to know like which fragrances are your favorite as well or which ones you would recommend to me or which ones you didn't know about that you found out about today that you want to try so yeah that's all for this video so i will see you in my next one